I'd like to introduce you to our acrylic brush cleaner and reviver. It's non-toxic, environmentally friendly and washes out with water. Very easy to use. In order to show you how it works, first of all I need to put some acrylic on our brushes. I have a selection here of acrylic paint and acrylic inks. So we'll get our brushes, test these paints and inks, leave it to dry and then see how good our brush cleaner works. Let's start with some paint. So if we put a little bit out onto our disposable palette and we take, this is a sable brush so I'm testing sable synthetic and a dip pen nib. We put it into our paint, work it into the brush So I'm going to coat all of these brushes with the different paints, leave them to dry and then we'll come back and see. Okay, well our acrylic paint has now dried on our brushes. So we need to decant some of our acrylic brush cleaner into a separate pot to make it easy to use. Now you don't want too much because you only want the liquid to go onto the bristles of your brush. You don't want it going all the way up to the handle. Because it's acrylic it can affect the paint on the handle of your brushes which is not what you want. So. Just a small amount like that. Now each one of these relates to each colour. So if you just put the brush into the liquid, let it soak into the bristles, you can actually see, probably you can't on the camera, but when you're doing it you can actually see the acrylic brush cleaner starting to affect the acrylic that's actually on the brushes. So just Swish it around a little bit. If you take some kitchen towel and immediately the brush splits as you press on it as the acrylic's being moved. So the same thing again. Swish it around, just let it soak into it. it down. Now it's a bit softer so just put a bit of pressure onto it. Gently pull it out and you're pulling off the softened acrylic. Doing it this way is kinder to the bristles of these brushes and this is a sable mix so you don't want to be uh, treated nastily. See how much we're getting out. Now you probably need to do this depending on the size of the brush and how much paint it's got in it quite a few times. As it softens you can push it against the side of the pot. You can see it yourself now I'm sure. The paint coming out. Just gently. Too much pressure and you'll break the bristles. So. And the acrylic comes off in different ways. As you can see this is all forming into little balls. Other bits of it come off sort of stringy but although they're all made with a similar product they all behave differently. So now you can see it just clinging on where it's really thick and hard. Again, just gently and 
Oh well, we're not far off now. Little tiny bits in there. There we go. Ah, oh, this one is really, really stiff. If you're going to keep doing that to it, you will crack those bristles. So, gently, gently. If you've got something like this, which is a disposable pallet, instead of rubbing it into the bottom of the actual pot that you're using, because with bristles with the longer length out, that makes it difficult, just gently roll it against the pallet itself. Right, these are the last three brushes to be done. Now this one, I'm sure we've all got brushes that look something like that. Stiff as a board. We'll resurrect that one last. Now then, see if we can uh, revive this poor thing. Well, it's clean, it's revived, unfortunately, still bent. Now all of these brushes that were cleaned with the acrylic brush cleaner and reviver, to keep them good and clean and tidy, need a wash. So I'm going to swish them all in this bowl of water, you could do it under your kitchen tap or what have you. Try them all off on your kitchen towel. Now here I've got an ordinary bar of household soap. Imperial leather actually. Just going to rub my brush on it. Rub the brush onto the palette. Just to make sure it's nice and clean. Switch to my bowl of water. Side to dry. So I'm going to do that with all of these. You can see for yourself the acrylic colour coming out. Resurrected one. Make the lather nice and stiff, as firm as you can get it, so that it will help to bring the brush back into shape. Doesn't always work, but it's worth a try. It's better than it was. So there we have it, that's our acrylic brush cleaner and reviver, now, as you can see it's brought all those different brush heads with filaments of sable synthetic and bristle back to life.